This Wednesday, author Sylvia Foti will be honored with the prestigious Mensch Award at Temple Isaiah in Palm Springs. Foti will also be speaking about her book entitled The Nazi's Granddaughter, How I Discovered My Grandfather Was a War Criminal. I spoke with Foti about her new book and the powerful message she plans to share. Sylvia, first off, tell us about the book you wrote and why it's poignant, maybe now more so than ever. Hi, Peter. Thank you. The book I wrote is called The Nazi's Granddaughter, How I Discovered My Grandfather Was a War Criminal. And, um, you know, I grew up in Chicago, very Lithuanian community, always hearing about what a wonderful hero my grandfather was because he fought so bravely against the communists and during World War II. Very shortly into the project, uh, I learned some terrible information about my grandfather that he played a role in killing Jews, up to 8,000 in Lithuania. And uh, this book is pushing back against the narrative in Lithuania that Lithuanians had nothing to do with killing Jews during the Holocaust, that it was all the German Nazis. And um, I'm getting a lot of pushback because of this, because it's completely breaking the narrative. Now, you're going to be speaking at Temple Isaiah about all this. There's been a lot of anti-Semitism across the country lately. What are some of the key messages that you want people to hear? The Holocaust was probably the worst event that could have possibly happened in history to date. And that if we don't come to terms with how it happened and who was responsible for it uh, in Europe, I don't, I don't understand how we're gonna come to terms with genocides occurring today uh, in Africa and the Middle East. Um, Lithuania had the highest percentage of Jews killed in all of Europe, 96.4%. 200,000 Jews were killed in Lithuania. And so if you were Jewish, you had a 3% chance of surviving during the Holocaust in Lithuania. It, it was worse than even in Germany. So um, for Lithuanians to not accept what they did, uh, during this is heartbreaking for me because um, that part has been very difficult because all that has been hidden from me is even as I grew up in Chicago in a, in a very Lithuanian community. So I think it's important to own up with uh, to what your ancestors did. Is it difficult to reconcile who maybe you thought uh, your grandfather was compared to who he really was? It has been very difficult, very painful, I would say. Uh, it took me 20 years to write, uh, mostly because for the first 10 years, I had to get over my own denial of it as well. It's been difficult, but, you know, and traumatic. In some ways, it's very traumatic for Lithuanians to hear that their ancestors were perpetrators in the Holocaust. Our whole identity has been that we're the victims. You know, we were the victims of uh, Soviet occupation, victims of the Nazi occupation, victims of the Soviet occupation again. So to hear that we, you know, played a role in killing Jews um, for my generation is, is traumatic. It really is. All right, Sylvia, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you, Peter. It was my pleasure to be here.